The Boy in the Red Vest belongs to Cezanne's late period, this painting, a unique mix of Impressionism and Classicism. This painting is considered as one of Cezanne's greatest masterpieces of modern art. Paul Cezanne rarely hired professional models, however for this painting he hired an Italian boy named Michelangelo di Rosa who was the subject for this work, one in a series of four paintings and two watercolors he made of this boy in a red vest. Di Rosa is seen here in profile, casually hunched over with his hands on his lap. The short brush strokes and triangular composition of the work provide a sense of volume and underscore the monumental stability of the figure. In one account, the painting's first owner, the artist Claude Monet, referred to Boy in a Red Vest as the best picture he owned, and it inspired him to declare of his contemporary, Cezanne is the greatest of us all. The pictures that got all of us talking in the newsroom today concerned a stolen masterpiece, a Cezanne worth $110 million. It was recovered today in dramatic fashion. Mass police officers in Serbia moved in to arrest the four men accused of snatching an impressive haul of impressionist works, a Monet, a Degas, a Van Gogh, and The Boy in the Red Vest by Paul Cezanne, all taken from a museum in Zurich back in 2008. The three other works had already been recovered. Today, Serbian police found the Cezanne hidden in the ceiling of the suspect's van. They'd been driving around with the painting. They were caught when they tried to sell it to a wealthy Serb for $4.6 million. It was too well known to sell at its market price, so the buyer was getting it for a steal. In 1839, on the 19th of January, Paul Cezanne was born in the south of France. He found himself filled with self-doubt as a young artist. And in 1885, Cezanne held his first one-man exhibition in Paris, and his reputation as an artist grew quickly. In the fall of 1906, after being caught in a storm while painting outside, Cezanne contracted pneumonia and passed away. Cezanne experienced self-doubt and depression throughout his career, but he carried on and became an influential artist whose work bridged the movement from Impressionism to Cubism.